hey, uh, after our last preparing session, we um, want to try to implement the OS flow for Jira Connect on, on the backend side and uh, yeah, see how far we get. Um, we had an idea for the static callback URL to implement a little a basic controller that just redirects back to the um, Atlassian namespace. And we were, the idea was to get the namespace from the, um, from the jot that Atlassian has, and then we would then put in the state. Um, so yeah, I tried that. Um, right, this is my Jira page. And um, so I created an application on my GitLab. Um, I did it on, on the admin area because I think uh, if we do that, for example, if we do that on gitlab.com, um, we don't need to ask the user to create an application for themselves. We can just use this application for everyone. Um, right, and it has this static um, URL. I call it Jira Connect Auth Callbacks. And um, yeah, so uh, we'll be using this to redirect them to, to Atlassian. So um, from, from this page, we go to the OAuth flow. OAuth flow will um, then go to my controller and my controller will figure out the namespace and then um, yeah, redirect basically and contain the, the code that we receive from, from the OAuth flow. Um, Right, so one, one little problem I found was um, that those apps, they have like a secret key um, and we need to know the secret key or basically also the, the app um, client ID, but I can show that. So this is my OAuth flow link. Um, let me inspect this one. Oh, there we go. Um, so this part is the link, right? Then uh, client ID. So this is the app ID. And like I said, for gitlab.com, we can have a have an app. We can just um, yeah create it in the admin area, and then we can basically hard code this app ID. But for self managed instance, we need to ask the self managed admins or users to create an app, and we need to have a way to enter this client ID somewhere. But yeah, we can figure this out later, I guess. Um, right, redirect URI that matches the, um, the one I specified on the admin area. And then I added the scope thing. Oh no, scope is the, um, the scope that we want API. Um, this is where I added state. And um, so this has the JW, uh, the, the JOT token, at least partially. So the first part is the JOT token. Um, and we can decode the, the jot and then find the namespace. But what we can't find is the, um, is the path to, to this page. Well, we can, so we can have this part from the jot, but we can't have this part from the jot. In theory, we can guess it, um, but I thought it's safer to, to append it here. So basically I just put the whole um, current URL in there and then um, we can carry it on to the controller. Uh, anyway, let's try it out. So let's go here. Um, all right, this goes to this page. I can authorize it and um, hope we can catch this in, in network. So authorize. And as you can see, I'm back on Jira and um, this is the code that we got from, from the OAuth flow. Um, just to prove, uh, let's see if we can find it here. Right, this is the authorized page. This is um, the controller I wrote, I wrote, auth callbacks. And this would um, then figure out the right namespace and redirect me back. And also it, it uh, appends the, the code to the URL. Um, all right, and using this code, we can basically um, then fetch a token from GitLab. Uh, we need the code and we also need the app secret. And um, I guess the secret can be hard coded somewhere too. Um, and yeah, I guess for self-managed instances, we also need a way to add this. Maybe we can 
build some automatic setup. Uh, yeah, but like I said, we can figure this out later. Cool, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.